how your shards look over your cluster is very important. Too many small shards, for example, can be an issue. Elasticsearch has these shards who are instances of Lucene who have to use some CPU and RAM resources from the servers where they're running. This is approved in Elasticsearch 8.3. There is a new, uh, there's a new mechanism to put these shards into the nodes so that it doesn't use as much resources. But before then, we need to be careful about small shards. Conversely, we need to be concerned about larger shards as well. These come with their own set of issues. Slower recovery speed, say if you come from a snapshot into your cluster. Slower search speeds, the more data that we have inside those shards, the more we're going to have problems potentially with uh, aggregating over the data and searching in that data. We like to stick our Elasticsearch uh, shards, uh, Elasticsearch and OpenSearch shards. We like to keep them to approximately 10 gigabytes to 50 gigabytes. These are flexible uh, observed uh, sizes that happen inside of these different clusters. With the 50 gigabyte side of it, more tiered or more tailored towards logging use cases. And with the 10 gigabyte size of it, more tailored towards search use cases. <clears throat> I have these two purple shard in the third node to try and indicate an issue that we can see in many clusters called hotspotting, where you have some of your large shards dominating one particular node, and uh, maybe that's the most searched and indexed indices in your cluster. So you have one node who is facing a lot of issues and other nodes who are not doing as much. So you're not utilizing your hardware as much as you can. <laughs>